Do you have an old computer or laptop lying around that you don't use anymore but still don't want to throw away? Or maybe you bought one for a couple bucks and realized that it might be too old for your needs? Those are my favorite ways to reuse an old computer. So, grab a drink and enjoy the ride. Start off by installing a fresh and light OS, like Linux or Chrome OS, that will greatly improve the responsiveness and the boot time of that old fellow. Of course, you won't be able to do everything with this computer, but it will be perfect for your everyday web browsing, like when you want to impress your lover or crush with a delicious meal. But that might feel like wasting precious computing power when you know you could use it to make your own ARCADE MACHINE! Like this one we built a couple of years ago. It is rocking an Intel Q6600 with 4GB of DDR2 RAM at 866MHz, combined with a GeForce 8600GD. It uses an open source platform called Hyperspin to group all the game together and launch them with the arcade controller. Since it was our first stake on arcade building, we decided to go with the X-Arcade pre-built controller for two players. Even though it is a well-made product with a lifetime warranty, I would totally go for a custom build controller if I had to do it all over again. Just so it looks a bit better, and also I think the X-Arcade is too small to have two persons standing next to each other in front of it. Finally, we used a 20 inch screen that we had to fix first since the power supply was dead. But you know, when something is free, you can't complain. And then we packed a set of 2.0 PC speakers in there and voila! We can enjoy our favorite games. To me, shoot 'em up were totally the best. I know though that big projects are not for everyone. GG! More seriously, you can use that old PC as a simple media center in your living room. Combined with Unified Remote, a simple but powerful app that lets you control your mouse and keyboard with your smartphone, you'll be able to browse the internet, look through your folder, search for a good video on YouTube, and anything else you could do with a mouse and a keyboard without leaving your couch. There's plenty of other software and app you can get like Kodi Media Center, Steam and Home Streaming Service, Netflix and so on. But instead you should use it as a ridiculously huge GPS for your car. People might say it is dangerous but you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. Anyway, if the dot stays on the line it means you're still on the road. Remember that you will need a fully charged battery and an internet connection. You could use for example your cell phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Seriously, make sure it is on. Because either way you might not find that damn Demorden you're looking for and even get lost. But hey, it will still look pretty cool.